so big, so much to do and see. I'm a young prospect of prodigy. I can't succeed in being you. So you be you and I'll be me. I'll be me. I just like you, I'm gonna be me. I just like you, I'm gonna be me. Well, hello, friends. Bonjour, les amis. My name is Cujo, and I'm so glad that you can join us outside. I love it when it snows. It's a very chilly, cold day, and when the snowflakes are falling, Looks like we have a video conference from one of our friends. Let's see who it is. Your foot, foot, show me how, how rain looks. Please, can you show me how snow looks? Hmm. I know a little bit about snow since I live in Canada. I know it's light and fluffy and cold to the touch. And when there's lots of snow, you can snowboard or ski or ride a toboggan, take a horse-drawn sleigh, ride a dog sled, or take a ride on snowmobiles. Plus, you can make a snowman or a snow angel. Hey, did you know the word snow is very, very, very old? It actually comes from the Vikings who lived in Northern Europe where they have lots and lots of snow. Snare. Do you know how to say snow in French? It's so easy. La neige. Can you say that? Very good, say bon. Let's say it one more time together. La neige. Great job. I think we should call our friend David Phillips. He's a weather expert with Environment Canada. He would know all about snow. Hello, bonjour. Nice to see you, David. Hello, bonjour, Cujo. It's uh, so nice to see you, my friend. They, hey, I love your red glasses. H how do you like my blue glasses? I think they kind of match the same color as the sky where, where all the weather comes from. Well, that's fantastic. I have a friend that wants to know about snow. My first question is, what is different between snow and rain? Way up there in the top of clouds where, where jet aircraft fly, what happens is a little droplet that freezes into what we call an ice crystal. Beautiful ice crystal, but it's so teeny weeny, we can't see it. You can't see it but the eyes. What happens is that little ice crystal grows, grows bigger and fatter and heavier. And how that happens, is it kind of catches other droplets that kind of stick to it like glue. During in the cloud as it drifts around, it gets bigger and bigger and soon comes out of the cloud and we can see it as kind of a snow flake. And it looks down to the ground and it sees, wow, what a big distance it's gotta go. So a couple of things can happen to that snowflake when it leaves the, uh, the cloud. It can actually pass through kind of mild air, warm air, and what happens is that little snowflake, it melts, and it melts into a drop of rain. And so that's why it rains on us. But sometimes in that cold air between the cloud and the uh, ground, the air is kind of cold, and so that, that snowflake just stays as a snowflake, it actually even grows, and then it finally lands on the ground 
as either dry snow or wet snow. What are some other cool things about snow? Just kind of like people, every snowflake is different. So I think that's kind of a neat thing for me. And of course, we always think of snow when we think of cold. But you know what's interesting about snow? Is if you get deep into that snow, you have lots of snow layers above you, and you get deep down into that snow, it's actually quite warm. The snow kind of keeps the cold air away from people. And our friends in the north, the Inuit people, when they are going out and say snowmobiling and they can't make it home in time, they might build a, a snow house or a snow cave, which they call an igloo. And they can actually bury themselves in that snow and maybe even take their coats off because it's, it's kind of warm. And we know animals think the same way. They know that snow underneath that snow, it's really warm. So mice and groundhogs and big brown and black bears during the winter time, they sleep the entire winter but they bury themselves into that snow away from the cold air and it keeps them kind of warm and toasty. The other thing, Pujo, is that, you know, sometimes when the snow collects and stays there year after year, it gets so heavy, it kind of um, pushes all the air out as it gets thicker and it actually forms ice. Yeah, real hard, solid ice. And sometimes in, we see that ice over many years forms glaciers beautiful glaciers and uh, principally in, in kind of areas that are cold. And sometimes those glaciers, well, they melt and pieces break off and they become icebergs in the water, really big icebergs. And of course they float around in the water, but as they get further away from where they started, they, they meet warm water and they kind of melt. So they come to be nothing after a, a little while. So. So I think also what interests me about snow, Pujo, is that snow is good for us. It helps us because for farmers, they sometimes need that, that snow that melts into water for feeding or drinking, giving drinks to the crops, the plants and the food. So it grows food for us. So that's very important. And all the fish like to swim in rivers and lakes. Well, some of that water comes from melting, melting snow. And we like a drink of water too, of course, so we turn on that tap. And in some areas, that, that water we drink, it began as snow, melted snow. So really, snow is not something that we would say, oh, no, it's actually good for us. So, so those are some of the things that I think about snow. I don't sort of hate snow. I love snow. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. Au revoir, David. Thank you, merci, for answering our questions. Thank you. I've enjoyed our little chat today and to try to learn about, about snowflakes and, and the weather generally. And uh, I look forward to meeting us again uh, another time. And, and, and goodbye, Kujo, au revoir, and, and stay safe. I'd like to give a special thank you all the way from Calgary, Alberta, Elliot, this episode was for you. And I also like to give a special thank you to Environment Canada and of course, David Phillips. Thank you so much for giving all of your time, all of your advice and expertise when it comes to snow. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Bye for now. And remember to be kind, be brave and to be curious. But most importantly, is to be yourself. Bye for now. If you have a question that you want to go ahead and ask me, please shoot a video stating your name, your age, your location. And of course, don't forget to ask your question. Your parents can join in on the fun as well. Send your video at the email address below and we'll do our best to answer all of your curious questions. If you like our videos, please click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. For more information about our show, please visit us at kujoskidzone.com. Bye for now.
so big, so much to do and see. Let's go see. I'm a young prospect of prodigy. A prodigy, a prodigy. I can't succeed in being.